Hey y'all, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I've done stuff like this before, but I don't do it very often. I actually plan on doing a completely different video today, so I got fully ready and I was gonna sit down and film, and I just didn't feel like filming that type of video. I honestly just wanted to paint today. If you guys don't know, I enjoy painting. I'm not the best at it. I'm really good when it comes to like, copying things. I could do it pretty well, but I don't paint like my own unique shit. I, I can't do that. I'm not creative enough for that at all. For Halloween last year, I created my own costume. I kind of did it for like Halloween slash my streams because I wanted to cosplay as a character that I play as in the game that I play. So I made a Meg costume. If you guys don't know what Dead by Daylight is, or maybe if you do know what Dead by Daylight is, I cosplayed as Meg. She's just the person that I used to play. And I actually switched who I play in the game. So I played this cute little girl named Fang for a little bit, and now I'm Adam, who's like this big burly man, and I fucking love Adam. I'll tell you guys his story or I'll go I guess more into his character while I'm painting but he has an entire lore all the characters in the game have a lore all the killers have a lore it's actually really cool how in-depth it goes so I'm in love with the game okay sue me and for Christmas they released a bunch of Christmas sweaters for all of the characters and I love all of them so much but I love Adam's his is my absolute favorite it's actually one of the reasons I wanted to start playing him because I loved the sweater that they gave him he's a teacher so the sweater I'll just put it right here what it looks like I don't know I just think it's funny I think it's cute and I really wanted to make it for myself. There's a lot more that I'll have to paint and I'll have to recreate. Meg's was just annoying finding the pieces for it because I had to find like a very specific blue shirt and pink jacket which is sold nowhere. But the actual painting was pretty easy so I don't know I guess we'll see. But I'm really excited to make it. I went to the store. I went to a couple stores I should say. This was a lot easier to find than the Meg costume. Like I just said it was impossible to find. If you guys watched that video you know my struggles. It took me like 12 hours to just complete that entire video. Today I only had to go to three different stores to find the white shirt that I need. His shirt is almost like a cream color but I figured it's gonna be hard enough finding anything long sleeve because I'm in Arizona it's summer there's not gonna be anything long sleeve and so I didn't want to look for a cream color so I just went with white I found this at forever 21 it was like $14 which is way more than I wanted to spend on this but again I didn't really have a choice but it's just a long sleeve men's t-shirt uh, it's medium so it's gonna be a little bit big but I like all my shit big so it's fine and then obviously I just went to Michael's for all my paint and stuff. I got a lot of paint. I just wanted to make sure that I was gonna be good and then I also got paint brushes. I got like the really cheap ones. I got a bunch of these foam ones. I had paint brushes, but honestly, I have no idea where they are. I was going through my boxes because I have a couple boxes left from me unpacking and I can't find them anywhere. So I'm hoping that these will be okay. I guess if I really need my paint brushes, I can go and look for them. As for now, I only have these, but I think I'll be fine. I also have pictures of Adam's sweater from every angle known to man. And so we're just gonna get started Started. You're not gonna be at this angle. You guys are gonna be watching me paint So like I said, this is gonna be completely different because normally it's just like me talking and doing stuff But for the most part, this is gonna be just you watching me paint and I ain't gonna be talking I'm gonna be listening to music I just felt like painting today and I figured why not record it and I know some of you who watch my streams know who Adam is So I figured this would be cool for all of us mainly me. You can't see shit. Okay, you're really not gonna see my face much I'm gonna be honest. Sorry ladies. You're getting the coochie cam today So I'm just gonna take this cardboard box that I just cut up and I'm gonna put it in here Just so I can separate the front from the back. The shirt's pretty thin So I don't want to risk it for the biscuit I think the only thing about this that differs from the Meg one or I guess one of the main differences is that I have to do the front and the back. So I'm gonna do the front and I'm gonna have to let it dry. I don't know how long that's gonna take so I might have to do the back like a lot later. Okay and we're just gonna start on the top I think. I was also trying to think about, okay this is gonna be a huge shirt on me and I have to keep that in mind because I'm trying not to have it go, like I'm trying not to give too much space to certain things but this is a fucking huge shirt. This is gonna go to my knees. Luckily though I only had to go, so originally I went to Michael's and then I kind of just figured that they would have shirts there but all of their t-shirts were short sleeve because like I said it's fucking hot and I live in Arizona. So I went to Michael's, I got all the paint and stuff and then they didn't have anything besides short sleeves so I was like okay Walmart probably has shirts because I mean I go there for like t-shirts all the time. They're cheap and I mean they're like fruit of the loom. I mean I don't know what else you would expect. And so then I went to Walmart and they only had short sleeves which I was like that's weird because normally they would have like something but I swear they didn't have a single long sleeve shirt in the entire store. And so then I was like all right I either start going to like Marshalls, Ross and all those places and just hoping that they have one or I could go to the mall walk around the mall so I was like let's go to the mall I'll go to forever 21 first they might have one went to the boys section right in front of my fucking face I was like praise the lord because the other stuff was so fucking annoying to find so let me tell you about Adam 
for a little bit. Let me tell you about my boy Adam. Adam was born in Jamaica. His father died when he was pretty young, so he lived with his uncle. His uncle was very strict, but taught him the importance of education. So eventually he became a teacher. After a while, he decided he'd probably make more money working overseas. So he ended up going to Japan to teach. And then one day he was taking the train. I don't know if he was taking the train home or if he was taking the train to work. I would assume he was going home. The train got into an accident and it flipped and he was never seen again. Ooh. But I love him. I have my nice plates because I forgot to get plastic when I was at Walmart because I have the world's worst memory. So we're just gonna use this, it's fine. I'm gonna put the picture of Adam probably on the screen. I don't know if it'll be there the whole time. I haven't decided yet. I'll decide during editing if I wanna put it there the whole time. Okay, I finished the green on the front and I used so much of my paint so I feel like I'm gonna have to go back to Michael's and my hands are very green. But we're gonna move on from this. Honestly, I might have to finish this tomorrow because I'm really scared that it's not gonna dry enough. I don't wanna flip it over and risk ruining it because I have to wait for the green to dry and paint on top of that with the white. I just feel like it's not gonna dry in time. So we're probably just gonna do the front today and then we'll get to the back tomorrow. But let's keep going. I really wish I had my paintbrushes right now. This is so difficult.
First of all, it changed because I was sweating my ass off. Second of all, I messed up because I made the second, okay, so there's supposed to be like three rows of the numbers. And so I made the second one too far down. I think I made the first one a little bit too big. So I'm gonna have to make the next two smaller, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. So I had to recover what I messed up in green paint. So it looks a little funky right now. The rest of it looks like a two-year-old did it because honestly, the sweater looks like that anyways. And I'm gonna add dirt on top of it. So I was like, I'm not gonna sit here and make it perfect if I'm gonna be spreading dirt on top makes no sense. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna start making the top and the bottom dirty because I'm done with that. My little nubby chili pencils on the bottom crack me up. Also, I didn't record that part because I was like, I've been recording for an hour or like more than an hour already. What time is it? It's already fucking four. I started this at like two. So I have a lot of footage already. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna record me doing the pencils on the bottom. So I'm just gonna start getting it dirty. So I'm gonna go get my makeup because that's what I use. All right, well now I'm mad at myself. I definitely didn't think this through because I cleaned this makeup brush today because I wanted to use it for my face. And now I'm gonna be just getting it super nasty which is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a cream contour. I always take my TARDIS Pro Glow one because it just, I don't know, it looks like fucking dirt. Not on your face, I have it on my face today actually, but when I use it on, like when I used it on my outfit before, it looked so good. We're just gonna start dirty in this bitch up. Normally I would wait until the end to do this part, but since I can't really do anything else right now, I just figured I might as well get it out of the way. The top isn't as dirty as the bottom is though, so I'm gonna try to just do it a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take this big box. I've been using this, so honestly, it's already destroyed because I've used it a lot for this. And I'm just gonna take all the top shades, like browns and blacks and stuff. That works. The bottom, though, is pretty fucking dirty. So I was like, you know what? My little chodes are gonna be hidden anyway, so. Okay, now I could probably paint over this and be fine. So we're gonna do that. No more talking. Okay, so my camera died, but I didn't feel like waiting for it to charge, so I went ahead and I finished the front of the shirt. I still have to get all of this dirty, and I have to fix some of the numbers, but I ran out of green paint. So, I'm mean, gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that. This is what I have so far. I mean, honestly, it looks pretty fucking good. I'm gonna put a picture right next to it, what it should look like. It's really messy when you get up close, but I wasn't trying to be too careful because, again, it's supposed to look like, I don't know, stupid. It looks like a kid made it. I spent the last three or so hours doing this, so I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm gonna film for tomorrow because I'm not gonna for a long time. So I might just show you the end product. I haven't really decided yet. I guess I'll figure that out tomorrow, but I'll see you guys then. I'll see you with whatever decision I made. If I'm gonna show you or if I'm not gonna show you. Okay, so it's the next day and I decided not to film everything today. I also decided that I wanted to try to do the back of the sweater and see if I can make it even better than the front because I like the front of it, but I don't know, there's some parts that piss me off just because I didn't have my paintbrushes. I found my paintbrushes, by the way. So the back looks about a million times better than the front does. I'm not fully done yet. I was waiting for everything to dry so I could do like the white numbers on the chalkboard. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna wear the back as the front because that's how much better it is. So I'll show you guys what I've done so far. So I got a lot further too. Like all of the sleeves are done, except I haven't done the pencils on the other side yet, but I'll get to that eventually. I'm just over making pencils. But everything just looks a lot cleaner, like all of the pencils and stuff. On the other side, they were just like really chunky and really weird because I only had the big brushes, but now I have about a million paint brushes. Excuse me, oh my God. But yeah, I just have to do the numbers now and then I will be all done. This has taken me probably three hours just to do the backside. That was another reason I didn't want to film this. I was editing the video last night. Like I wanted to export all of it and see how much I had so I could decide if I wanted to film today. 
and it was like over two hours of footage so I was like it's just gonna be excessive at that point and I'm doing the same thing so I just thought it was unnecessary I'm gonna do the numbers right now because everything should be dry and then I'll show you guys the end product I'm really proud of this oh my god I finally fucking finished I think my biggest problem with the front side was that the letter just didn't look like chalk and they were all really thick and weird and they didn't really match the shirt that he was wearing I also made it smaller so like on the other one it's supposed to loop around or on the other one on the original it's supposed to loop around I didn't like that so I just did the whole like equation on one side you know what I mean? So, you know, we got some basic math, but I like how this actually looks like chalk, or I guess how some pieces, like, these ones really look like chalk. I like that sleeve the most. I kind of fucked up on some of these, but that's okay. It's supposed to kind of look sloppy. I mean, it's supposed to look like elementary, obviously, but I'm really proud of it. I'm like, I'm so fucking excited. Look at my hair. This is what I've been looking like all day. I just, be, I'm, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to put it on. And then we're gonna see what it looks like on me because Adam is my boyfriend and I gotta wear my boyfriend's sweater. So, you know how it goes. Okay, so it's a little bit obvious that I have it on backwards, but that's okay. I'm trying to figure out a way I can show you guys because I literally don't have a tripod. Oh wait, I do have a tripod. I had you on a tripod actually before, but it's really wonky and I don't really wanna risk it. So this is the finished product. I'll have me and I'll have Adam. Do they look alike? No? Okay. I'm really proud of it. I haven't done, okay, so I didn't do the backside of the sleeves. I don't have any of the pencils or anything, but I'll do it later. I'm fucking tired. I have pants on. I promise YouTube. I got really nervous for a second that I didn't have pants. I got pants on. I think the back looks a lot better than the actual front. So this is the new front, everybody. There was another sweater I wanted to recreate from Dead by Daylight. And so honestly, I might do it. I, I got scared when I started this one. I was like, I don't think I could do this. Like, I really don't think I have the skill for it. I know it literally looks like a two-year-old did it but honestly it was hard to make it look almost like it was hard to make it look like the picture honestly but i feel like it's always hard to copy something because you're like it's not going to be as good as the original but i'm i'm pretty proud of it but i might recreate fang's sweater if you guys know dead by daylight if not i'll put a picture right here but i hope you guys enjoyed honestly i loved zoning out for the past two days just painting i've never done anything like this extensive i guess is extensive a word i'm tired but i really enjoyed this so maybe i'll do more of these if you guys like them if you don't like them i'll just paint for my own enjoyment i'm gonna go shower though because i was sweating my ass off my air conditioning for some reason like i have it turned on but it doesn't reach like my living room area there's vents in here but there's nothing coming out of them so i think i'm gonna have to call the front office and see what's wrong with them because it's so hot in my kitchen where I was painting. But I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Also, if you guys don't know who Adam is and you want to come to my stream and see who he is, I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Love y'all. See ya.